clean coal technology means that you are using coal without putting pollutants into the atmosphere. We capture essentially everything. Carbon capture and storage is an important part of clean coal. It's just one of the many things we have to do to have low carbon energy. Carbon capture and storage is a group of technologies and techniques that enables the capturing of CO2 from various sources, the transport of that CO2, and then the final storage of that CO2 in deep geological formations underground. The capturing of CO2 can be done from power station flue gases, various flue gas streams in the steel and cement industries, as well as chemical industry or natural gas production industry. CO2 capture technology has been keeping carbon dioxide out of the air for years at the Great Plains Sinfuels plant in Beulah, North Dakota. Did you see was born during the time when natural gas was scarce in the late 70s, early 80s, and it was really an idea that was generated by a number of gas companies. So they saw a real win-win situation where this region had a, virtually hundreds of years of coal available in a shortage of natural gas and a technology like gasification that could convert lignite coal to natural gas efficiently and provide that energy to the customers for home heating, for energy generation, those sorts of things. The coal reacts with oxygen and steam to generate a raw gas. From there, that raw gas is separated into liquid products and gas products. We're able to separate CO2 through what we call the rectosol process. And that generates 95% CO2 and very little other contaminants. We compress that CO2, pipe it to Canada, where they're using it for enhanced oil recovery. We surpassed 30 million metric tons of CO2 that was sequestered in the oil fields in Canada. Because of the nearly pure CO2 stream, CO2 capture works well at the coal gasification plant. Not so with traditional power plants, where the CO2 makes up less than 15% of the emissions. They need a different separation process to remove the CO2 from the exhaust, which is mostly nitrogen. What we need to do is separate the carbon dioxide out from the rest. So we don't want to put all that nitrogen underground. So that's why you need the separation step, which is expensive but it makes the transport and injection of carbon dioxide much, much more efficient. This technology is key for the hundreds of existing power plants that currently make a third of the electricity in the U.S. and more than 70% of the electricity in China and India. <laughs>